What's going on YouTube? So it's Martin and Christina from Thrift Store Gold back at you with another video. So in today's video, we did a big garage sale haul, our first garage sale we've ever went to. So we're going to play some clips after the intro and then we'll be back here to show you everything we got. Okay, so we just pulled up to our first garage sale. It's a street, it's a street sale. sale, so got a couple of houses going down. Oh, can't see. So, yeah. Thumbs up. Wish us luck. Hopefully, we go find some gold. Yes. Peace. Okay, so we're pretty much. This was a strikeout on this street. There was nothing. Only three garage sales, really. So. We're gonna go try to find more garage sales and hope we find some gold. Okay, so we're at like our third one maybe, I don't know, but it's kind of in a sketchy neighborhood-ish. We're more towards the city. Show them the map. Lots. There's 30 houses though, they say. So, let's hope we find some gold. We found one place that looked like it was worth stopping for, but it was... I don't know, we haven't gone in yet, so let's go. <laughs> okay, so we kinda, well actually we had some good luck. We're gonna show you guys when we get home, but we didn't film any of it really because it was, like we said, we were in a weird area, so we didn't want to have the camera out or really anything. Really sketchy, scary area. But there was a Goodwill, like a mile away, not even, so we figured we stop here before we go home. It is Saturday, it is Dollar Tag Day, so we're gonna go find some gold, and we might even stop at the Goodwill we usually go to on the way home. So yeah, now it's drifting for gold. <sighs> All these orange tags. Yep. Okay, so now that you guys are back from that video, hope it wasn't too bad. We didn't really film too much when we were out there. We're still new at uh, garage sales and everything, so hopefully it wasn't too Most bad. Of them are a bust anyways. Yeah, we we didn't really get too much. We went to like what was it, like seven or eight garage sales? Because yeah. there was a street sale that had yeah. four or five of them and we um, didn't get anything. No. And then... Went to one, other one. Yeah, right. then we went to three more, so... Yeah, we went to seven. Yeah. But, we did get a couple things. We only got... Well, I guess we got a lot of things, but only at two different garage sales. Yeah. So Which this was, was the first. Okay. It was in the sketchier part of town too, where yeah. we found this gold. <laughs> So this was the first thing. It was actually a bin of clothing and there was like nine pieces nine, in there. Yeah. So I just said, how about five for the whole thing? And she just said, yeah, no problem. So we got them all in here. I actually really only saw one thing in here that was worth it. So we'll save that one for last. So, Cause that was the only thing that was really in here that was worth it, but it was still, still some good inventory. And if not, we can donate this stuff. Yeah. But you can go and I'll go. Okay. First. And we love clothing, so. Yes. Plus, to get them at. 50 cents each yeah, almost. Less than 50 cents a piece. Like, yeah. that was a score. Yeah. But um, this one is a St. John's Bay, like, short sleeve button up kind of. Show them the tag. Nice. What does it say? St. John's. Fine, like, twill. Fine line twill. <laughs> so, yeah, not bad. 50 cents. We've had actually good luck with St. John's. Day. Yeah. We don't really pick it up because we see it all the time, but when we have picked it up, we've actually not been too bad. But this was a, oh, a Van Heusen. <laughs> it's the weirdest feeling shirt ever. It's yeah, to soft like suede. suede. Yeah, soft suede. Yeah. So, it is. really cool. Not bad. Um, We didn't even check for all the buttons, like we say, but <laughs> all the buttons are there. <laughs> How's that sleeve? They're there. We're all there. <laughs> <laughs> so not bad. This one, it was a Gap flannel long sleeve button up. Gap extra, extra, large. extra large. <laughs> and then an old navy button up, long sleeve red. There's the old navy tag. 
So what's nice is these are all bigger sizes too, because if they were all like mediums, it really wouldn't be worth it, but you can still list bigger sizes and mm -hmm. there might be the right buyer coming around. And if you stay tuned, there might be some more Old Navy button-ups that we might lot together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this one's actually a pretty cool one. It's an Eddie Bauer flannel, which we haven't actually got any kind of Eddie Bauer before. But we looked it up today. Yes, we looked it up today and they do pretty well just the brand itself because it's an ex more expensive brand. And then in this bag, oh, another Van Heusen. So this one's a nice like flannel. It's got that, uh, what is this, like wool almost? It feels yeah. like. Yeah, it's like a wool material. I don't know. Acrylic <laughs> it says. It's acrylic material. It's weird. So a nice Van Heusen. It's got that blue and gray. Not bad. Definitely will be warm. Some of the warm. <laughs> um, last in your bag. Last on my bag is an Old Navy long sleeve button-up. <laughs> so yeah, another uh, double XL. I lied. It's actually just an extra large. Oh. Yeah. So we might have to. We might have to do them separate. <laughs> That's okay. And then last in this bag, clothing-wise. <laughs> We got it's like this cutter. cutter and buck. So, size large. I don't know. This was something that was just in the bag. It might go for something, it might not. <laughs> yeah, we've we never can always heard donate of the though. Exactly. I mean, for 50 cents for all this clothes. And then this was the last thing. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys have been waiting for, <laughs> it was some Tommy Hill figure. This is actually a really cool feeling. Like, it's a cotton cotton button up, but like. Yeah. Um, it just has a really cool feel to the it. The extra, and it's extra large. Really nice color. And it's got the Tommy on the sleeve yeah. or the pocket. So a really nice long sleeve. That was pretty much worth the five bucks. I, I feel. Yeah. And then we also found some toys there. So they were like fifty cents. So we got three for a dollar. Uh, we've actually sold one of these Paw Patrol toys before. Well, how'd you get that open? I tried so hard when we were there. Let me get this to focus. So yeah, you just shove it back in there, you press that button. <laughs> so yeah, we've sold one of these before. It'll definitely sell, what would we sell it for? Like almost like eight bucks plus. Yeah, we sold it for I think seven, seven Couple bucks shipping. last time. And then this is probably, we probably won't even be able to sell this, but we love Red part. Skull, we love anything Avengers. So Red Skull was in there. And then there was a machine. little war machine. So this is a little cool guy. This is really cool. He's on like some ice or something. Sorry. He pops open with both things. Oh. So I didn't even... It's actually kind of like cool, like interactive, I guess. So oh, that's it's really worth cool. the 50 cents. Or I guess... 20... Oh, three. Like 33 cents. <laughs> yeah. 33 cents. We can hopefully get about 8 to 10 bucks for it. Yeah. Plus shipping. <laughs> and then, well, we got these actually, we'll, we'll keep going with the toys. We got these at the last garage sale. It was just kind of funny. Um, I mean, like we said, we love Avengers. You can show that one up. We love Avengers, so <laughs> these were just some pretty decent um, action figures. Yeah. And um, They're the Legend series yeah. or something, like, if you guys ever heard of that. So they usually go for about like 30 yeah. bucks by themselves if you have them in the box and everything. but. These aren't in the box. We'll probably just keep these because the kid wanted five dollars for them, but for each, for each, and I was like, oh, I could do three for both of them, and his dad was like, oh, that's money. So yeah, I know. They took it, so that was pretty cool. It's just like super sorry, oh. interactive and stuff. Yeah, yeah like, like there's a lot so of so much. Things. And cap shield comes off. Hold yeah. on. So yeah, that's just more about us. If you didn't know, we really love Avengers. That's not even gonna be really resold. Unless they have a really good price for some reason, if this goes for like 50 bucks. But <laughs> for the most part, we're just gonna keep those. So then we actually scored this. This was the best score. So yeah. someone had a Wii. There was pretty much just the Wii and like the, just a normal console. And they were like, oh, 40 bucks for the Wii. And we were just like, well, what about for the Wii and then the games that they had right next to them? And they were like 50 bucks. And we were just like, oh, okay, like, that's kind of expensive. Yeah. We know what Wii's go for, but we're not 100% sure. So then we were just like, eh, like, we're sorry. And then I think we said, um, would you take 30 for the Wii? 
No, uh, they came, we were just like, eh, never mind. And then they were over on the porch and they were like, well, actually, we can do $40 for the Wii. The, well, they said all of the Wii stuff. We were like, what is all the Wii stuff? So the Wii was actually on top of a bin. Yes. So then I looked in that bin and then. Should we show it off. Well, I'm kind okay. of building the suspense. Okay. So then I looked in the bin and there was a lot of stuff in there. So that was probably about worth 50 bucks, but we didn't even have 40 or 50 bucks. We only had the $36. 36 yeah. So I was like, would you take 30 for just the Wii stuff? And they talked a little bit, they said, yeah. And so we got the Wii stuff for 30 bucks. And as we we're walking away, she was just like, here, I don't even want to deal with the games, take all the games. So it was a really good score. We'll show the games first. So this was the pile of games that she just gave to us for free pretty much. Six, six of them, yeah. Yeah, so we got Wii Play, not bad. We got Madden 10. <laughs> uh, oh, Star Wars. Yeah. NHL. Slapshot. <laughs> Active personal trainer. <laughs> and then Indianapolis. Indianapolis. 500. So, cool lot of games. We haven't looked any of those up yet, but for free. Hey, why not? Oh, and one more game. NCAA, college football. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Wii version. How Wii? Yeah. Like, usually it's like an actual football player on the front. It's the character. <laughs> so, we'll go through. This was on top, so this is what we were... Hoping. We were hoping to get for the $30, but then yes. there was even more. Yeah. So, obviously, you got your dock. Do uh, you want to pull them out? Yeah. And the sensor bar. Our least favorite parts will we. Yeah. <laughs> um, the two hand nunchucks. Nunchucks. <laughs> A nice remote. I think Is there was, two remotes? Yeah. Two remotes in here. Nice. Oh, these have rechargeable batteries to them. Mostly. We got the charging dock. Nice. <laughs> And then, obviously, the Top Wii cord. itself. It's a little kind of dusty and gross. Hold we can on. clean that up. Yeah. There you go, possibly. It's not the cleanest condition, but I hey. We'll clean that place yeah. up. For 30 bucks, let us know if it was a deal or if we're going to lose money. Yeah. <laughs> and then, this also came with the 30 bucks, this little bin. So this is what we didn't know came with yeah, it. This was a surprise to us. Ah. <laughs> you start pulling stuff out. These are the coolest things. Yeah. They're Nerf, like a Wii tennis extensions. Racket. Yeah, they. So you plug your remote. I don't know how this even works. Oh, so it comes with this adapter. Ah. You plug your remote in. Like that, and then you got your golf stick. Go we golf in. That's so cool. They're Nerf, so they're really good, like high quality. Yeah. Ones, you know, so that's really awesome. Wow, another charging station, guys. I can't get this off. Okay. Nope, there we go. Okay. Another charging station. But yeah, so there's a baseball bat, a tennis racket, and a golf club. And then the handle that it all comes with, or that you can attach it for. We got the Wii gun. <laughs> so this is cool. You stick the remote in there and you shoot <laughs> oh the grips two grips silicone cases for them nice. really cool the oh they strap. even have the straps so, so that's you nice don't send it through the tv <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what this back piece goes to we got a random back piece <laughs> a couple more batteries oh wow yeah, these are the rechargeable bed. Yeah. There's a the lot one. of stuff in here. Dang. <laughs> what is this? Uh, a Wii <laughs> like wristband? <laughs> Put on your wrist if you're really into it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. A crossbow training thing. There's actually a game in this one. <laughs> and then there's just some cords in there. So that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a good amount of money. Um, turn 30 bucks and uh, maybe hopefully even over 70. Oh, did I hit you? <laughs> <laughs> Smack me in the face. Now that we're situated, <laughs> we also, on our way back from all these garage sales, we were like, it's Saturday, why not hit up Dollar Tag Day? So enjoy this little clip, possibly if there's anything. And yeah, 
Okay, so I don't know if we really filmed that much or not. I know I got at least one clip in the thrift store of Christina. <laughs> I kind of scared her actually. That probably was pretty funny. <laughs> but we did get a big uh, haul of clothes like usual. We are actually at a different Goodwill than usual. We're going to stop at our normal one, but we just didn't. So... I was gonna say sorry. Just so you guys know, we spent in total $39 at the garage sales. Yeah. Um, it was 36? It was 39. Oh yeah, because of the toys. $39 in the garage sale, so hopefully we can double our profit. I yeah. mean with the Wii and then some of the clothes that we got, so that's where we spent that. And then we spent $14 on all of this stuff. So yes. Because all of these clothes, like we always say, we got for a dollar. But besides one thing. We oh it up. yeah, she bought something for expensive, which was. But it sells for a lot, so <laughs> it's worth it. Okay. <laughs> so first, we got these Vans shorts, a nice plaid Vans shorts. Which I actually was looking at Vans shorts while we were there, which is something we've been doing lately. Is yes. actually looking up stuff. Um, there's some sold of twenty to thirty dollars, so it's pretty good. Not bad. That's for me. This is for Christina. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. We might sell it. It's a cool summer shirt, but. Little tank top. <laughs> it's from Forever 21, so it's still like a popular brand. <laughs> oh, some pants. We got. Banana Republic. Two pairs of Banana Republic pants. Nice. They're nice dress pants, which we might actually. I guess I could look into lotting them if they look like similar sizes. Uh huh. Yep, here's the other one. So again, uh, Banana Republic. Nice. Banana Republic, some more expensive work brand, so. All orange tag was a dollar. Yes. And then, <laughs> this was a cool shirt ish Christina looked up. What were the comps on this? Um, I couldn't find the exact shirt, but this brand, it had like, cooler shirts and stuff and this brand had just it had different kind of comps like some ranging from nine to like seventy dollars so i'm gonna list this probably somewhere in the middle because it's a it's a really cool shirt it has these zippers on the front and stuff it's a very like modern looking shirt so. yeah i hope i'm showing it well i'm trying to fashion this thing off and <laughs> not going too well and then the last in this bag was oh yeah DKNY, which is a nicer, higher, not higher end, but a nicer brand of work clothes and just nicer clothes. So hopefully we can get some good money out of that. Some nice pants, slacks almost. Yes. And then sure. the big Goodwill bag. The big. I'll let you pick out. So. Funny enough, we actually scored another Eddie Bauer item. Yes. It was a really cool heavy duty jacket. This was when we actually looked it up. <laughs> you good? Damn. Eddie Bauer. It's really, really like, it's really like heavy duty. It's got an interchangeable liner and stuff and then it's flannel on the inside. So hopefully that'll sell for a lot. It looks pretty old too. I don't know about vintage, but definitely like an older, mm -hmm. nicer jacket. So. We got it for a dollar. All buttons and zippers are working in there. Here, you can show this next one. Another jacket. We try to stay away from jackets, but don't seem to. to jackets are the best to pick up so for a dollar, we feel. <laughs> Um, this was an L.L. Bean, really nice pea coat, women's pea coat, um, the L.L. Bean tag. But yeah, so L.L. Bean actually is a pretty expensive, I think, like, catalog. I don't even yeah. know if you can buy stuff on, well, you can probably buy online, but, um. eBay store. Yeah. Our eBay store. Yes. Uh, they're a really nice, like. Nice. They're a really nice brand to look out for, so we could probably get like 40 bucks for that jacket, mm -hmm. so that'll be nice. <laughs> and then this, Christina said probably not to get, but even if it doesn't sell, I'd wear it. <laughs> it's just like a USA like fleece jacket. Olympics. Yeah. So pretty cool. I thought it was cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, for someone, a dollar. Someone either went to the Olympics or were in the Olympics. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then. The thing that Christina paid the most money for. $4.99, but it's a almost brand new Victoria's Secret bra. So it'll sell for a lot and you can tell, here's a secret, you can tell that they're newer or not worn really if these tags don't wear out because 
these tags right here on Victoria's Secret bras wear out like nothing. Like you could wear it once and wash it and all this stuff will be faded. So if you can find one, like literally that but that was the first thing that I looked for were, was these tags to see if they were in good condition because that's a high telltale sign plus mm -hmm. stretchy. And we've been having some good uh, luck with bras lately. Yeah, they actually, if you can find like some of their good, better like bras, paid $4.99 for it. But if you can find some of their better bras, like their bombshell bras, like their really padded ones, those will resell for like almost 30 bucks. Like we've had two of them resell for 30 bucks. So mm -hmm. really nice. And that one's a really like intricate, like it has lots of design work on the side here. So it'll definitely, definitely go for some good money. So that was our haul today. I'll give you all the clothes. There you go. There you go. So Christina's got a lot on her plate now to keep her busy. There's one last one. That was pretty much our haul. How, so how much did we spend in total? $43. So we spent $43 in total today. Not bad for our first garage sailing and then- $53. Yes, $53, so not bad for our first garage sailing, and then obviously we did stop at a Goodwill, yep. but that's what we do, we're thrifters, we're sorcerers, so <laughs> we're gonna be thrifting more and more each day, so our videos are gonna start being along the, like a week span maybe, so they might be better, they might be worse, who knows, we hope you guys enjoy. Her name is Christina, my name is Martin, hope you guys have a great day or night, if you're new to this channel, you should definitely consider subscribing, Smash that like button if yes, you like this video. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions or you want to share any love for us. And like I said, have a great day or night. Go crush it. Peace. I'm dying. <laughs> you knocked the camera.